Today we're opening a massive box full of sealed Yu-Gi-Oh products. Wow. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a collection that I bought that's all old school sealed Yu-Gi-Oh products. So it's gonna be pretty cool, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have DD Warrior Lady, Necro Valley, and Free the Matches General. This is a near mint first edition, by the way. So like the video, be subscribed, and leave a comment down below what your favorite item is that I bought, and let's get into it. Let's start off with the box over to the side. It is fairly large, so I'm gonna open it over here and show you guys the products one by one. Okay, first item. Oh, this didn't even realize that this was in here. We have a instructional CD video Yu-Gi-Oh! Win Complete Exodia set. Wait, really? Exclusive review English Labyrinth the Nightmare set. Is that the Exodia set? <laughs> Doesn't look like a real Exodia set to me. World's best price guide. Oh, we can see if there's prices in here. That's actually always fun to see. Let's see if I can find anything. Editor's letter. Very cool. Cool to see that. Oh, look, Gemini L. This is OCG stuff. Wow, that's, let me back this up a little bit. There we go. Very cool. Uh, Swordsman of Landstar. So yeah, it's L-O-N, first edition, English. Humanoid Worm Drake is actually very hard to pull, which is kind of weird. There's like the, there's the stuff, the two secret rares, 17 rares, 10 super rares, 10 ultras, all that stuff. It is always kind of weird that they did the same number of ultras and supers. I guess to make them more rare, it kind of makes sense. Where's the price guide? Enter to win five pieces of Exodia. Should we do that, guys? That's such a cool giveaway, actually. You could win an entire Exodia set back then. I'm sure, like, kids would have loved that if you won that. Maybe we should send it in and see if we can still win. Send it over to New York. Uh, somebody would get that, like, whoever has that suite now and be like, uh... Oh, here it is. So it was unlimited LOB. That's still amazing, though. That would be pretty awesome. That's the five pieces. Winning a duel. There's the basics. Where is the prices? All right, here we go. Here's some prices. First edition starter deck. Is that Yugi? Yeah, the Yugi starter deck. $30. Was it really that much? I guess at this point, maybe? I thought it was like 20 or 10 on the shelves. There's a Kaiba starter deck. There's only what whoa, the Blue Eyes was $28 back then. Blue Eyes White Dragon SDK first edition, 28 bucks. I miss those days. Here's Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's see if we can find the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It was $45. This is actually really good price data for a video that I'm working on. Wow, 45 bucks for LOB first edition. So it was more than the SDK at that point, which is interesting. All right, that's really cool. Let's not take too long on that, but that's really awesome to see that stuff. Next up we have, oh, what is this? Some stacks Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Oh, wait. These are the, I think these are the ones that uh, John has been opening, the House of Champs. Yeah, okay, I gotta send him these. Or no, maybe it's not these. I can't remember, I can't remember. I, yeah, I don't know, he would enjoy this though. I'm gonna send him a picture of that. That's pretty cool. Then we have a very cool first edition starter deck Kaiba Evolution. This came out in 2004. It does have the Kaiser Seahorse. Such a weird choice for a cover card. Still really cool. In ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful it had to be locked away for millennia. Now one boy has released the power. It's time to duel. Yeah, so this starter deck, I, there are a few starter decks in here. I think they're going to be for sale on Ruxin34.com. So I'm going to have put them up before the video comes out. So if they're still there, go check out Ruxin34.com if you want to buy them. Next, we have a Geofried, the Iron Knight. That's actually a very cool tin. If this was Genzo, it would be insane. But Geofried's still really cool. Inside, you can get, of course, the five packs. Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, and Labyrinth of Nightmare. This 2003 tin. Very, very nice. All right, what else? We have a... A, oh, first edition Pharaonic Guardian blister pack. Up top's a little bit, but, you know, it's pretty tough to keep those things in nice condition, especially for, like, what, 19 years at this point? Yeah, it's pretty tough. First edition Pharaonic Guardian. Very cool. There's that Hell Palmer on the back. Man, I just love these old school blisters. Brings back the classic memories. You go into a store and you see these hanging up. You're like, Mom, please, please let me buy it. And she's like, no. And you're like, well, okay, maybe next time. Let's see if I can uh, do this without damaging anything. Then we have... Speaking of Pharaonic Guardian, a first edition, I don't know if this, yeah, this is Hobby because it would have 36 and be retail, yeah. Hobby first edition booster box, very cool. Pretty underrated set from the originals. I mean, probably appropriately rated because it doesn't have any crazy big pulls, but it has some really nice cards. First edition Pharaonic Guardian booster box, either going to sell this or do a box break. Not sure what we're going to do with that yet. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll hold on to it. I don't even know. Here's some loose packs. So here we have, speaking of Pharaonic Guardian. Another first edition loose pack. So for the loose stuff, I'm going to be opening these for sure because I don't, you know, they could be weighed or something. So I'm just going to open them myself and it'll be a fun video. Look, this used to be $3.99. Keep that in mind. That is insane. Then we have a $4.99 first edition Labyrinth of Nightmares. They like that more. Here's an unlimited. We have a $4.99 LOB pack and a $4.99 LOB pack. Both original print unlimited. Beautiful. 
an original print Metal Raiders Unlimited, and an unlimited Legacy of Darkness. So that's going to be fun to open up those at some point in a video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Then we have what feels like another starter deck. We have, yeah, ooh, we have the one with the Black Luster Soldier Ritual card. This card is really cool. They picked a much better cover card for Yugi. Unfortunately, his, uh, his hair got a little damaged there, but this is still a really cool starter deck. Very, very cool. Uh, that actually probably does hurt the value a little bit because, you know, his face is a little bit jacked up, but that's still really, really nice. Then we have what appears to have fallen apart in transit, a Pharaonic Guardian two-pack blister. So this is like one of those fake blister packs where it's from like Target or something. So it fell out of this, it looks like, which is probably was going to open this anyway. So it's not the biggest deal in the world, but it's very hard to ship these blister packs and like have them not get damaged. So I guess we're going to, at this point, just open up the other one. Uh, it's going to be a little painful. Let's do it. Oh, it's already coming apart. Okay. All right, let's just do that. So we do have a couple of more first edition Pharaonic Guardian. Those will be fun and potentially in a video. That's not all of the loose packs. We have a few more epic ones. Magician's Force first edition. Yeah, we're talking about first edition Magician's Force. Three packs. Could have some amazing cards inside. I don't know if they're hobby or retail. I'll have to check the IPC later. But either way, they're going to be cool to open at some point. Because as I said, loose packs. We're probably going to open them up you guys want to oh wait one more we have uh, another labyrinth of nightmare first edition very cool and then we have some is this cards we have some mcdonald's cards you guys know i love these gravekeepers assailant these old school sleeves you remember these it made your card look like a starlight let's see if any of these things are like uh worth anything it looks like all commons right now saint joan Jalgan the spiritualist cool rejuvenation that was actually worth something for a little bit and uh yeah nothing oh last turn there's a card first edition LOD last turn. Let's check out the condition on it. <laughs> Shockingly pretty good condition, actually. That one sounds worth a couple bucks. Oh, wait. Somehow I passed this. There was a first edition Toon Summon Skull in there. It's a little... It's definitely warped. Has some damage on the top. But either way... Wow, that is very warped. It's got a little damage. Yeah, that looks like an old school, uh, <laughs> old school collection card for sure. But still a nice card. I didn't even know that was in here. Oh, these are awesome. The old school Duelist card protectors. Look at these. These are the old school sleeves. Yeah, these bring back some serious memories. K official Konami sleeves, I guess. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is amazing. Then we have a couple of these. We've seen something similar to this before. Two-pack Yu-Gi-Oh! Magician's Force third-party blisters. So it looks like there's two MFC packs in there. Are there any bonus cards or anything? Two-pack... Excel marketing. So it's the same ones you did the single pack. That is very cool. So we've got a couple of these. I don't know what we'll do with these. I, it's tempting to open them for sure. Then we have uh, some more sleeves. It looks like, yeah, these are the shiny ones. These were used, I guess. So they were opened up. Then we have an unlimited starter deck Pegasus. This is always the deck that I love. This is the one that I, one of the ones that I got because I was like, oh my gosh, look in there. It's the Relinquish. That card's amazing. Do you watch the show? I always thought this was a really cool deck. So it's awesome to get this one in this collection i think this is the last of the of the packs we have pharaoh's servant unlimited more pharaonic we got a lot of pharaonic guardian going here so that's pretty cool more of this the grocery store had them for 3.99 i wish that was the case still more pharaonic guardian wow we are gonna have some pharaonic guardian fun that's for sure and one more magician's force very very cool so a lot of this stuff is based around 2003 so it looks like that's when this was collected and speaking of our favorite set pharaonic guardian we've got a couple more of these blister packs these are this one's actually in very good condition this one's got a little bend on it let's see how much it was 3.99 at kb toys wow talk about a throwback a three dollar 99 cent pack there even is a Millennium Puzzle. Check that out. Dark Magician, three out of six. That's pretty cool. That thing's like heavy duty. It's on a very uh, janky little thing. It looks like uh, definitely a kid's at some point. More blister packs to come. It looks like we do have Pharaonic Guardian again, but then we have Dark Crisis, which is pretty cool. Another 2003 set. It looks like this is the latest set so far. Very nice looking blister packs. Oh, you love to see these blisters. So nostalgic, like insanely nostalgic. All right, there's some stuff going everywhere. We've got a couple more Dark Crisis, which is pretty cool. These are a little wrinkled, which tends to happen with these old blisters, you know, 20 years later or whatever. This one has tape on it, so that's that's kind of interesting. Here's a few random cards. Uh, Witty Phantom, Deanne Keto, and Man Eater Bug. Classic SDY cards. Oh no, we have another casualty. Invasion of Chaos has been falling apart, but this is a first edition pack, so it looks like we will be opening at some point. This is going to be a pretty crazy opening or openings once we do these. That's going to be pretty fun. So, uh, Rip, this seems like it was like 
What's this third party does Yu-Gi-Oh? It looks like Yu-Gi-Oh. Interesting, but it's not like the original blister. Guaranteed to contain one and th so that's where the three additional cards came from. Okay, this was repackaged by SNB Collectibles. So we haven't heard of that one before. So it looks like SNB Collectibles made this blister. So it was not originally Konami or UD or anything like that. And the final items we have are a first edition LOD blister pack from KNB Toys for $3.99, man. KNB Toys. If imagine we could just go back in the day, grab a few blisters off the shelf for four dollars each. I mean, it's kind of what Leonhardt's idea with first thing was, which is pretty cool, but dang. This is crazy. All right, Pharaonic Guardian again. So we have a bunch of those. That's very nice. So those sealed Pharaonic Guardians are probably going to go up on the website because we have a bunch of loose ones we're going to open up. I think the sealed ones are better kept for collection, etc. So we're not going to like ruin them or anything, even though I tend to do that. <laughs> Another KMB Toys one. Very nice Legacy of Darkness. We have a lot of Legacy of Darkness too, but still really fun. And finally, we have a three pack trading card games pack. $11.91. For it looks like three first edition Invasion of Chaos. That is a really awesome blister pack. Probably gonna open that one. <laughs> All right, that's it for this collection. Some really awesome sealed product. A ton of it will be open on the channel. Some will be on Ruxon34.com, etc. If you guys want to see openings for that stuff, make sure to let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to CCG Trust Guards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Might, Nance, Mimic Echo, Spank McFarlane, G Raider, Daxter, Ian Musa, and Junior Barding. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.